So I think it's time for another project. The sunroom was one of our favorite things about this house. We wanted an indoor outdoor space. This room has a gajillion windows. It came with this swing, which is super fun, but we're not really big crazy fans of the teal or the carpet. So the plan is we're going to take out the carpet. We're going to polish the concrete that's underneath. We're gonna hang bikes from up there. And essentially this is gonna turn into the baby playroom. So woo, we have a lot of work to do. Okay, so the first thing we've decided to do is move everything into the center of the room because we are gonna just go ahead and take off the trim. And this is something I can actually do, is very slowly move all of our belongings away from the trim that's on the outside of the room so that we can start taking the trim off. Dan comes and starts helping me because I realized very quickly that it takes a lot more work. So we're essentially using um, a putty knife and a hammer to loosen it up. Dan comes through, uses the manpower, pull it all the way off and uh, get it off. Not everything was 100% cleanly taken off, but it, we did pretty good. The baseboard came off pretty easily. And then we went ahead and started to try to do the crown molding, uh, which was much more difficult. Dan had to get up on the ladder and cut it with basically a utility knife to really uh, separate it from the wall and the ceiling. And obviously we didn't want to damage the ceiling at all. So uh, he had to be much more careful when taking it off the ceiling. We also learned that uh, as we went around the room, that pieces of the trim on the ceiling were not solid pieces. They were uh, made up of lots of many little parts and we ended up having to just rip a ton of it off in order to make it work. And there's some uh, real time how long it was taking us to get this trim off of the ceiling. That was it, that was the last piece. So much trim. Dan, how do you feel about uh, this project? so far. Pretty good. Demo's the part. Okay, so that is it for today. We've got the trim off the top, which took much longer than I thought it was going to, and then the trim is off the bottom. This is the new trim. It's so pretty. It's the same trim we used in the bathroom, um, so I've got that extra piece, so we will go ahead and use uh, the same trim throughout in here. And then I don't know what I'm going to use up top yet, but yeah, good. First small day. I'm not gonna lie, I know it looks like I did basically nothing in those videos, um, because I did. But I've also decided to start this project while I'm five months pregnant. So, um, cause it needs to be done before the baby gets here. Oops. I'll be able to paint just where I can reach without a ladder and point and shoot. That'll be uh, uh, basically how I help on this project. Okay, so it's been a minute, but we got all uh, most of the stuff out of here. As close as we're gonna get, it's a rainy, gross day, so we can't paint any trim that we were gonna buy. But we're gonna move that guy around, and we're peeling up the carpet squares. So after like a week break, uh, we finally got around to moving everything out of there and starting to peel up the carpet squares. Now the first couple I peeled off, I was able to just peel off a little bit, but we realized that was not going to be a sustainable option for the whole entire room. So Dan came up with some tools that would be more efficient and uh, we got to work. But as fun as these time lapses are, it took, it, it, it did take some time. We got together on it and made it, made it happen. But um, Dan did most of the work and I just ended up moving carpet squares out of his way. Dan, can you tell the good people uh, at home your technique? My technique. What is this thing you're using? It's a four inch scraper from Harbor Freight with a long handle. And it's just uh, use that for the ripping and tearing. I do want to make it clear that I was wearing a mask because 
this was a very dusty job and although I would like to be super hands-on I am also pregnant and I don't want to be breathing in any of that junk uh, so safety first everybody the carpet is up it's just from circus dirt gross I, I feel good about it. Yeah, me too. Don't regret anything? No. Great. No. I can see the finished product. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Um, we are doing this. My dad is here. Uh, and they have rented this crazy thing and have been wet polishing the concrete. I didn't take videos of it because it's terrifying. So because we had never done this before um, and we did not have the attachment rental available to us from Home Depot to get the water up, we essentially had to squeegee the concrete floor and slowly take the water out. Um, it was a pretty intense project. Everybody got completely filthy and my dad missed most of the Super Bowl. Well, that didn't go entirely as intended. I meant to film much more of the painting process on this. I meant to film the decorating part of this. So you're just gonna have to like imagine it. So essentially after we did the concrete, my dad <laughs> and me painted and cut and installed all of the trim. Um, so we bought new trim to replace all the stuff that we pulled out. We got something a little more uh, traditional on the ceiling and then I showed you the trim that was gonna go in the bottom so we got all that it looks really good I'm very happy painting wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be I thought covering that teal was gonna be a bigger problem than it was which it was not which is great um, I think the room turned out really beautifully so the bikes have not been hung yet Dan is planning a big cat tree for the corner, which I'm very excited to see. We got this big, huge carpet remnant that we'd been moving around in the videos uh, bound on the ends at a local carpet store. And it is perfect for this room. It's nice and cozy. I do my yoga in here. We've already got the baby swing in here. Otis loves to hang out in here and watch all the birds, which is why we want to build him an awesome cat tree. Now we still want to seal the concrete because it's still a little dusty. Um, so if you walk around on it, uh, it'll get on your socks and we track it inside the house. So it's not perfectly done yet. <laughs> but this will be basically where the toys live. This will be where like the kid hangs out all the time. And I am feeling very confident about how this space looks and how it functions. And uh, I'm so happy it's done. <laughs> and it's gonna be so wonderful this summer to like have the windows open and just have the baby in here and to like be able to stretch and work out or just read and hang and play in here and have nature basically all around us and to continue to have nature all around us as we build a better backyard and better outside space. But that is for another video. Here are the couple of things that I would recommend if you are going to do something like this. We didn't really do it in stages. We kind of just knocked it out. And I think that might be the way to kind of do this kind of project. So like take a long weekend, maybe three days, and just and just do it. Like Dan was definitely saying that the concrete polishing was a little more involved than he thought it was gonna be. Agreed. But with a couple extra hands, because mine are basically useless, we really, we really were able to knock it out in not very long. Because essentially what happened, we peeled up the carpet, we polished the floor. Those things needed to happen first. Then we installed trim and painted everything. It really only took us one day to do that. And that was it. Pulling furniture back into here wasn't a big deal because we didn't have any. I would definitely choose a weekend that's not frigid so you can open the windows more than we did. Other than that, it, it really was probably the easiest project that we've done <laughs> on the house. And I don't know why it took us so long to do it. Full disclosure, because this stuff is important to talk about. This room probably cost us about $500 to do. That includes just the floor polisher and the polishing of the floor, the binding of the carpet, the trim. We had some coupons from like our credit cards that allowed us to like get a ton of money off stuff at a home improvement store. So we used those on the trim. Uh, but the rental of the machine and the bit that needed to polish the floor was, was the expensive part. Um, but I already had all the paint, except I did buy another gallon of that paint. So we did have to buy paint. And I buy the nice like Sherman Williams white that matches all the stuff on the inside of the house so that it all kind of flows and is in the same feeling. You walk straight from the living room 
out into the the sunroom and it's all it's all the same and then little things like replacement switch plates and things like that so yeah for 500 bucks in about a week for the time i'd say adding a whole extra room in our house it's totally worth it so anyway i promise to do a better job filming my next home improvement project and uh now that the house is mostly done i can start giving before and after tours from when we bought it in april so keep an eye out for that okay thanks for watching happy fixing